This movie is about the label Legend Manager, which is part of Spotlight's uh, arsenal of commands and so forth for lighting design. Uh, these are examples of how the label legend command can be used uh, to display the relevant information for each uh, individual type of instrument. Um, you might have one that just displays, say, for moving lights, the universe and channel number and uh, so on, or the color for conventional lights. Uh, then you have multi-circuit lights here, and you see how the numbering is done, uh, zip strips, that type of thing, and whether or not it displays uh, a gobo. Uh, that type of information and it's all basically contained in the label legend manager now I'm just going to open up a <coughs> blank drawing here I go to the label legend manager in the spotlight menu and basically you have this empty uh, dialog box now what I'm going to do actually firstly is to make one of these lights um, the active symbol by right clicking it and go make active and I can see here active, so that's what I'm going to base this label legend for. Now in the spotlight templates from the far menu, go new, a new document template, uh, there is actually one generic label legend to get you going. Uh, but if you're making them from, from scratch, and of course you can only have to do this once really, because you can save them uh, for uh, in your templates, uh, so you only really need to do this the one time. But um, if we have not the label legend manager, having made that uh, profile conventional, the active symbol, uh, now I'm just going to go here and go add and let's just call this uh, you know, a general one or whatever and we can see uh, these are all the fields, the record fields which are available to us uh, and with as in, as in most uh, plug-in objects there are a lot of things which actually aren't relevant as such, they're there for programming more than anything but what we need to do basically is to click on the left hand side and just uh, click once uh, and that will select which one of these fields will be displayed next to the instrument on the page. Uh, and of course the great thing about this is the fact that they are controlled by classes and if you want to you can choose to show or hide uh, these bits of the, these fields um, and so for example you might have a, a, a set of plans for the crew uh, and then a separate one for yourself and for example you might have the purpose field turned off the one for the crew, you just need to, to rig the lamps. Now, I've uh, just chosen a few here. I can see at the bottom it's got ETC source 4 as the symbol there, and I can change that if I wanted to. Uh, and I can also go right reading, that means if, I, if the instrument is rotated, say at 45 degrees, uh, the text will always be uh, displayed horizontally. In other words, you don't, you don't actually have to rotate the plan. Uh, for you to read the channel numbers, for example. So the channel field, I'm just going to click here and make whatever number is in there will always be right reading. And if I click in here, container type, um, I'll put it into a circle. There are various options here, and they're quite easy to make up your own if need be. Uh, and I could make it non rotating. I'll show you an example of non rotating label legends in a second. So if I click OK, uh, the f thing I have to do is to put a tick here, so that would be the default label legend for any lighting device that is placed on the page. But before we finish, we have to obviously now go edit layout. Now this layout, as you can see, is now based on that symbol which I made active from the resource browser. And what I can do is just uh, drag these wherever I want them to display uh, on the lamp. Uh, so maybe uh, somewhere like that. Put that in there. If I want a gobo, I might just uh, rotate that text by right clicking here. Let's rotate it left 90 degrees, uh, put it in here. I could have a uh, another field in there, but this is just a basic thing. And indeed, uh, I might just change its color, say, for example. Now, holding the shift key down, I might select all these fields here. And in the X field in the object info palette, if I type in zero, that will make them all lined up exactly to the zero uh, ruler in the X. Now these are symbols, if I go exit symbol it becomes a symbol now uh, in this symbol folder in this particular file and here's another symbol folder full of the containers so if I have a look at the containers these are just symbols which you can uh, make uh, if I wanted to uh, create a, uh, a symbol let's go and create uh, just a, a random sort of shape 
like that and uh, we'll just make it closed uh, all I can do is now go modify create symbol uh, call it uh, a name uh, click OK and I can put it straight in this containers symbol folder uh, like that and what that means is next time I go to this uh, label legend uh, that will be now um, available to me as a container around one of the fields so they're quite easy to manage and inside the label le legends folder uh, if I double click that that is the uh, label legend there saved as a symbol uh, which allows for easy uh, transporting between f different files using the resource browser or indeed if I just save this as a template I can add it as my template what it means now if I double click a lamp and place it on the page and uh, oops, zoom in a bit uh, that label legend uh, the default label legend has now been applied to this lamp so I can now just type in any information um, such as that um, unit number channel number and so on all these can be reorganized uh, and moved around each other just with the blue handle here you can move any of these fields wherever you want and they will stay with that label legend so going back to the original file I had here with the different types just some examples of uh, different types of label legends um, all controlled by the label legend manager uh, you'll notice um, if I select one lighting device that I might have a slightly different arrangement here in the object info palette uh, including uh, a field here for frost now that is created by going to the file menu document settings spotlight preferences uh, and you by changing the lighting device parameters you can go new and add a new parameter here which I did as frost uh, and I could just drag it up change uh, where it is you can do this for anything that has a number in Vectorworks uh, like that you can just change the order by dragging it you see the oblique rectangle there and by adding a tick or not will decide what fields what record fields are displayed in the object info palette so this frost is one I've just gone here new and created one uh, if I click on that uh, and go edit uh, it's just a text field basically uh, I could put it in the number but I'll leave it as text uh, click OK that means now that uh, I have a, now a field here called frost so let's put in a, a frost because I need it to display next to the um, next to the lighting device if that's what I want so what I might do with this one is go back to the label legend manager and uh, click in there go edit fields uh, the new fields will be right at the bottom here so just put a tick next to that click OK and then go edit layout and I can move this somewhere here maybe uh, rotate left 90 degrees it's Apple L or control L on the PC and maybe uh, make it italic and then just click exit symbol uh, and now if I just refresh labels here oh, and with that light actually I need to obviously put in a didn't actually put in a number there there it is so that's the label legend manager for you uh, quite a powerful way to display information on the page.